and I'm back 4 a.m. So last night I got half of it defrosted. Now I'm gonna do this other half. I'll take this cover off and try to take these blades off too. All right, well the blades ain't coming off without a fight, so I ain't gonna fight them. I'm just gonna work with it like it is. about got it within the first defrost that was 20 minutes I put them all in defrost a minute ago you can see those ones already came on there's a switch here that's supposed to shut them off but for some reason the circuit's still feeding I think these just control the fans but I'm gonna go back down to the microtherm and put all four of these in defrost again because I am not having trying to have these fans come on and it's freaking cold these these things are going off <laughs> while I'm working on them but we're making progress here in a little bit it's gonna be a sight to see when that big ass thing of ice comes down all right so using my little beam of hot water I don't know if I'll be able to show you without getting my phone wet. I can't get my phone wet. I defrosted all the way to the other side of the drain pan. And I'm pretty much that's pretty much as good as I can get it. And now I can kind of maybe start getting close to working on that slab of ice on the other side but I might turn the freezer on for a little bit and let it start cooling back down in here here's a close-up of this big slab of ice back here I got to figure out the best way to do this but I'm gonna take a break and uh, kind of let it cool down in here a little bit
as I sit here and watch this, um, it's, it's pretty stupid. My pry bar and hammer were out of the truck at this point, and I didn't want to go all the way back down the man lift, get the manager to open the door for me, and then get him to open it back up and all that walk back. I figured this was smarter at the time, but it really wasn't. This is taking way too much time. But I actually smart enough here in a little bit. But you'll see. figured out an easy way. Dead, yep, my battery's going dead. My flash ain't working no more, so. Alright, I'm gonna try to break this into sections and hopefully it doesn't drip down below. Just like I expected, when I pulled the ice, when I chipped away at the ice like I did, it makes all the water come down. So, I ain't got no flash, but it's coming down. Part of what I have to keep doing is getting down off the man lift, because I have to come here and start the emergency defrosts on both of those evaporators on that side. And it only defrosts for 20 minutes, and I cannot edit that or do anything with it, so thanks a lot, Microtherm. But yeah, that's part of it. All right, so it's nine o'clock. I got about an hour left to get this done. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to or not. I'm gonna try. It's freaking cold in here. I gotta have all this ice off. I gotta chip away at it and I gotta use the hot water and put this fan shit back together and get this man lift up before they open at 10.30. So, I got my work cut out for me. Whew. Call me crazy, huh? Check it out. I'm standing on this fucking man lift like this. 
because I got to work up here and this is the only way I can get up in this thing so I got an hour to get all this ice off of here let's see if I can do it
I did. Uh, okay, you want me to get it now? You want me to put it up now? I was gonna start rolling up it. Okay, you got it. Well, he just told me I gotta go. So, I gotta go. Alright, so they actually open at 9.45 today instead of... Instead of... Uh, Alright, they actually open at 9.45 today instead of 10.30. So somebody told me wrong. So I kind of swept all this stuff off to the side. I'm not gonna scrape it yet. But there's the progress I've made so far. So... Still not up and running, but well, y'all saw it a minute ago. Come back tonight, work on a little bit more. Got my little grills hanging down like so. I think it's cool. Now I just gotta get rid of this big tub of water. And then, and then I'm gonna go home and get some rest. But I can't just up and leave. I've got like 300 pounds worth of water that I gotta get out of here. So I got I can't lift it. I gotta transfer it to this bucket, mm -hmm. or from that tub to that tub. Take it outside, and then I got something on rack D to show y'all. All right, we've got racks rack D and rack E up here on the roof. Now D01 is the one I'm working on, and D02 is the other one. They both froze up. And neither of them are going into defrost. Although the computer says they're going into defrost, they're not. Now, I came up here earlier at dawn. So here we've got D01 and D02. Now, I had them in defrost. This is our... Uh, that's our hot gas up there. Hot gas defrost. Those are working. And... We actually have hot gas flowing through there. And earlier I saw it warm these up. So we've got hot gas here, but for some reason it's not making it to the evaporators. So, and it's still at this, you know, to this point, it's still not doing it during defrost cycle. And these evaporators keep freezing up because the one that's just got a lot of frost on it a week and a half, two weeks ago, I was here with another guy. He was running lead on that job. I was just kind of standing around watching him. Um, but he was doing the same thing that like what I'm doing now with, with that evaporator. So um, that's where we're at with it. So I still got to figure that out because when we were here, he didn't figure that out. So I'm going to figure that out. So I'm going to end it. I'm going to upload this.